What's up guys? Another how to clear a drain line and put an easy T fitting on. Here's the, first you need a nitrogen tank with a regulator. Regulator screws on there. Um, get a better picture. Nitrogen tank. This is the regulator. Screws on there. Okay. You want like 200, 250 PSI charged up. 200 will work. Right. I don't know what that was. Scammers calling me. So, we're going to go up there and install this easy T fitting. Put it in, then we're going to blow it out with the nitrogen. Let's go upstairs. There it is. I'm gonna get situated real quick. There, much better. Took the flow switch out. Flow switch is full of water. Now we're gonna blow the drain line out. And then after we blow it out, we're gonna hook up a shop back to the end of this on the outside. And clear as much as we can out of that dirty little drain line. So we're going to pull this insulation back and expose the PVC. Then we're going to cut as close as we can here and as close as we can here. We're going to cut this 90 degree out. So I'm going to do that because I only have one hand. As you can see, this is the original drain line from 2007. And it's full of nasty gunk. All up in there. So. You know, the best thing you do is replace as much pipe as you can. If not, this guy's going to keep having calls after calls. Maybe a little drain solve and then shop back it. And uh, we're going to have to open up this panel and take a look at that drain pan if it's even accessible. Okay, so unscrew this and it'll come right off. See? You'll see some gunk right there. You want to fish it out with your uh, screwdriver. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I got the longest screwdriver I could find. Shove it in there. Get as much gunk out as you can. Looks like there's rust in there too. Pretty gunked up. Once you do this for a couple minutes, go ahead and Shine a flashlight in there and see if you can get any more out, you know, out of the sideways or whatever. I think that was all the gunk that was in there. And I don't think you can see the, the green pan, this part of it, the green pan anyways. This is going to help the drain line be more effective. Or the draining, sorry. Okay. Make sure you screw this back on there, or a new one. I'm not going to put a new one, I just cleaned it out real good, it's still good. And then this pipe, as soon as we blow it out, it'll be good. It's, it's not that old, it's from 07. So, uh, drain line seems to be good, just a little bit of sludge build up here and there. So, I cleaned up as much as I could. Uh, I'm going to spray the coils with no rinse, evap fresh, and then... Uh, Right now the water is flowing through there, but go ahead and get your nitrogen ready, stick your adapter in there and blow it out. If you have a ball valve, it will be even better. The, you charge this hose up with nitrogen or whatever you're using to build up the pressure, like 250 psi. And then when you open that ball valve, it will blast the water, but you need this adapter so that it doesn't go into the unit. The air only goes out. So that's one of the best features of the easy T fitting. And then you can blow it out at any time, six months, three months, whenever you need to blow it out. But you also have to vacuum the whole line and uh, pull out whatever's in the internal drain pan and the uh, primary 
drain line. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook up my nitrogen real quick and blow it out. Let's see if I can do this with. Well, I'm going to need both my hands, so I'm going to hook up real quick to show you what it looks like. Okay, so the nitrogen is pre charged. All I got to do is turn that ball valve right here. Turn the ball valve, and then nitrogen is going to shoot into this adapter through this pipe and go straight out. Push everything out, all the sludge, water, everything. So let me see if I can get a, something to help me do this. Hold the camera up while I do this. So I'm going to hold this pipe because it's not glued in yet. All right. And slowly open it up. And as I slowly open it up, you can feel the line pushing stuff out. And you open it up some more. And you want to hold on to that pipe as hard as you can while you open up this nitrogen. Alright, it feels like it's cleared. Go ahead and put this cap back on. Tighten it up so no more water comes out. Um, run a shop vac outside and then you can glue these tips. These uh, Make sure you do the shop vac outside first on this primary drain line. And then uh, focus. So run the shop vac first and then put glue on on your on your easy T. Some people don't like gluing it, but you don't you you can glue it now. You don't have to cut it ever again because you have this cap here to blow it out whenever you know it gets clogged. So that's how you clear the drain line or install an easy T fitting. Um, another thing you can do is bring your shop vac up here and suck whatever's in here out. Whatever, whatever's going in here, water, clogged up, whatever. Also, you can put your shop back here. I don't recommend it. I just, I put your shop back outside and then come out here and open this cap. Make sure you have good suction coming from the shop back and put the cap back on. Um, and it should be good. It'll work for a while, another year at least. Um, some people will have different ways, you know, flushing it out with a water hose. This is safer because you're not pushing water into your air handler and saturating your cabinet so um, yep that's how you install an easy to fitting hope this helped um, yeah you guys have a great day